Ah, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Black History Month. Every day in this month, I plan to try to give you guys at least three minutes of somebody that I admire from Black history. Today, we're going to talk about Carter G. Woodson, one of the most prolific and well-known black activists and historians of our generation. I'm gonna be reading from Wikipedia, somewhere where you guys can go on your phones, you can access this information on your own, or you can just enjoy me reading it to you right now. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, please follow, please be a part of the movement with my channel and Jay Horn, and I hope you enjoy these facts for Black History Month. Carter G. Woodson was born in Virginia, the son of former slaves. Woodson had to put off schooling while he worked in the coal mines of West Virginia. He graduated from Berea College and became a teacher and a school administrator. Earning the graduate degrees at the University of Chicago, Woodson then became the second African-American after W.E.B. Du Bois to obtain a Ph.D. degree from Harvard University. Woodson is the only person whose parents were enslaved in the United States to obtain a Ph.D. in history. Largely excluded from the uniformly white academic historic profession, Woodson realized the need to make the structures which support scholarship in black history and black historians. He taught at a historically black colleges, Howard University and Western Virginia State University, but spent most of his career in Washington, D.C. Managing the ASALH, public speaking, writing, and publishing. Now, as a member of Omega Psi Phi, one of the historically black fraternities in America, we learned about Carter G. Woodson and some of his contributions to American and black history. Some of the things that we use today, some of the things that we do today come from Carter G. Woodson's cranial. In 1926, Woodson received the NAACP Spring Arm Medal. The Carter G. Woodson Book Award was established in 1974 for the most distinguished social science books appropriate for young readers that depict ethnicity in the United States. Excuse me. The U.S. Postal Service issued a 20 cent stamp honoring Carter G. Woodson in 1984. In 1992, the Library of Congress held an exhibition entitled Moving Back Barriers, The Legacy of Carter G. Woodson. Woodson has donated his collection of 5,000 items from the 18th, 19th, and 20th centuries to this library. Those are a few of his accomplishments and awards that have been put in his name and honored by the United States and the NAACP. This is February Facts for Black History Month. Tune in tomorrow, we're gonna to have another fact about another pioneer for African American history. I hope that you enjoyed this piece of content from my heart, Jay Horn, to yours. Black History Month, let's go. We love it. It's awesome. It's only one month a year, so you know we gotta have some fun with it. But every day I'm gonna try to bring you guys some fun facts. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe. This is The Dog. I'll see you tomorrow.